Welcome everyone to my podcast. The topic today is conquer your fears and trade with adversity. Show your readiness to lead by example and become a solution to your community. Today is the 24th of February 2017. A little bit sad reflecting back to 2015 when we experienced a very unpredictable uh, acts of xenophobia in the country. And it seems like history seems to be repeating itself. Whereas, I want to put a better perspective of how we can make events better. Life, think of life as music. You can dance if you want to, or you can cry if you so wish. Both are good for the soul and our well-being. How you feel now depends on how deep you want the day and events to play out in your life. You can turn the music on or pretend creation will not revolve without you alive. You can conquer the storm and deep rivers of adversity or you can swim with confidence into the beauty of life's divine trials and tribulations. Your chosen path can open your eyes for light to shine on you with profound understanding provided you are open to other possibilities when hope becomes your last resort. There is always love and life which are betwixt and cannot be separated. Duality of existence is what makes us possible. All different. Man and wife. Day and night. Brother and sister. Friend or foe solutions or problems so why separate them and give them one authority over the other whereas they are all equal think of life as a canvas where individuals can draw the landscape of their dreams and visions to a beautiful kaleidoscope of their own grand designs think happy thoughts and create a happy environment You have to be alive to remain in control of your destiny. Rain or shine, this is the order of creation and how it was meant to operate. Think of love as dance and love life as an adventure where you can explore your limited and limited possibilities. Or you can choose to hate which will not help you health wise. In which case you can die, your spirit dies slowly to stifle and destroy your potential to reach beyond your capabilities to resolve problems within your community or within your family. In this case, within our country. Live your life around laws of nature or oppose and deny yourself simple blessings to see dilemma as an opportunity. You are the captain. Who has the power to steer your ship in the direction you want it to go? You can bring love and harmony together into your environment. Embrace friendship and goodwill to others. Bring it into your fold if you wish. Or you can climb a mountain and dance your way to happiness if you are a mountain climber. However, there are ways to look at our daily challenges and situations. There is never a day where there are no solutions to any problems. We just have to think outside the box. Think of your life as a blank encyclopedia. Every day when you wake up, you should decide the outcome of events and how you want the end of the day to finish. A happy ending of your day can sometimes be a misleading comedy of errors. Something you can laugh about when you reflect on the day's events. A bad day, however, does not necessarily imply bad decisions on your part. Even if it wasn't that great a super good day, it simply means your choice of events was poorly managed and controlled by someone other than you. Look beyond your limitations. Good or bad choices have impeccable significance to the overall total happy you. 
Every person reacts differently to similar situations and outcomes from other individual circumstances. However, begin to write every episode and pages of your life like an artist who draws inspiration from scenes and events around his surroundings. Do not fear to venture into the unknown to lead by example. You can view life as a roller coaster entertainment joyride with you in charge or you can view it as a disaster waiting to happen when you pass on your responsibility over to others. The lesson here is to learn to be in control and take charge of things. Take responsibility. Don't wait for things to happen. Make things happen. The world needs pioneers. The world needs more and new leaders. Fear is always commonly misunderstood. It stands for false evidence appearing real. Each time fear engulfs you, you become frozen because your shortcomings are measured by other people's standards and yardstick instead of your own. Your confidence is consumed by poor belief system and self-image because your life is idle and held ransom by others around you, maybe your community or even the, the, the news that we read or even social pressure and peer pressure. The pages you write about your life and every day, each and every day, attracts forces of nature that will determine your chapters and book of life, how it's going to end. Your obituary might be a poor evidence of people's reflection of you with their diluted, underrated views and biased opinions of you and not the true representation of you. So, write what is truthful about you right now while you are still alive. Leave no blank pages and spaces for anyone to distort, to distort the truth about you. Since we all live on borrowed time, you can conquer the storms and deep rivers of adversity or complain about how bad the situation is. An alternative option is for you to choose a personal solution for yourself or live with the wrath of being on a crossroad with gods at war. Don't cross that path until you can conquer your fears and venture into phenomena today. Become a solution finder instead of a person who points fingers. Thank you for listening to my podcast and please share. Cheers.